Welcome back, man. My name is Metro, and today we're taking a look at the Vault of the Warden's Dungeon, all right? So another new one just came out. It's four now, four out of ten that are testable on the Legion Alpha. Uh, this one's kind of strange, and it doesn't really work very well, to be honest. I'll talk about that as we go. Um, just a slight apology. I did not I did forget to mute the microphone while I recorded this, so that's kind of embarrassing. But uh, either way, we're going to go through it. So the, this is actually exactly like the Demon Hunter starting area, if you guys did that, uh, which hopefully you've at least seen by now, but it's really good. I mean, it, it actually takes place in this dungeon, uh, but now we've come here at a later date, so like, I don't know, I guess whatever happens, like when we leave that place as the Demon Hunter, it's kind of gone to shit since then, you know? Uh, so yeah, we are obviously going to uh, dispatch every mob in our way. The upper floor is kind of... Um, I know it kind of just it's just all trash really it just leads you to the lower floor uh, you can you can pick either way here uh, th there's like a set of yeah so as you see there there's two mobs in the back casting and then there's these two like demonoid dudes that are f charging around and causing a ruckus so yeah, you can kind of uh, choose to deal with that however you want to deal with it I you know obviously AOE death grip is not what it used to be but it's still pretty useful that would be a good place for it right there uh, but the mobs don't really do much, to be honest. Like, uh, th this is normal, so I, I don't expect much. But um, I really have to say, like, I didn't learn anything about this dungeon. I I've had to watch the video, like, three or four times now just to be able to make this video because I don't know what's happening while I'm doing this stuff. So, unfortunately, uh, that doesn't bode well for challenge mode. But, obviously, if things actually hit hard, then it will start to matter. Uh, but, anyway, once you're in the middle here, there's... A, uh, let's say a miniature boss a mini boss I think is what they refer to it as in the the cool world uh, yeah you're just gonna fight this guy uh, she does she does like that thing there it's like from Mario or something like that it looks really familiar those purple purple things but uh, yeah I don't know this is just I guess this probably has some implication on the lore but I guess this is just like a demon hunter or a demon in general kind of left behind I think what's happening here is that like the demon hunters that stayed uh, that, that, you know, they were originally in the prison. When we did the Vengeance uh, and, you know, whatever, Havoc starting zones, the the Demon Hunters get broken out and you help them. But I think some won't leave or something like that. Like the Legion gets gets its hands on some of them. Uh, so, yeah, now we've, you know, we're, we're about to head downstairs. So you once again just pick a path here on either side and just progress through it. It does seem like there's these little treasure goblins. Like if you guys ever played Diablo, um, nothing like it. To be honest but they are uh they look like it i guess and they die really easy they're like non-elites actually they're kind of like the treasure like dudes that they steal the treasure in mogushan palace in fact this place is a lot like mogushan palace to be honest but anyway you see some naga up here which is kind of curious a naga with some demons not really sure what to think about that but uh, either way yeah once again you really can't there's not much happening here it's just very basic trash uh, you know, it kind of hits hard, but not hard enough for me to care and definitely not hard enough for me to actually learn anything. If you guys haven't seen the video I've done on DK tanks in general, uh, yeah, the class is a little bit, uh, a little bit broken, right? Well, maybe it's not broken. Who knows? But it's ridiculous. Like I, I, I have logs that I'm going to, that you probably, if you cared, you've seen in the description already. It will be in the description and I'll kind of show them off at the end of the video, but yeah, the, the logs I have show me doing more heal. Well, not more, but almost as much healing as the priest, which yeah, he is disciplined. So I don't know. Maybe that's normal. But I was really surprised by that. And that's like the whole dungeon as well. It's like as soon as I started logging, which I think is about right around here-ish. It's like right before the first boss, maybe. I don't know. Um, but either way, yeah, you continue up here. There's more treasure goblins. When you kill them, they drop a bunch of gold. Now I'm just kidding. That'd be cool though, right? That would be more like the treasure dude, Sorok dudes from uh, Mogushan Palace, wouldn't it? But yeah, so you do kind of get the vibes here. Like I really do like the the theme and the, I guess the ambience, right? The ambience is quite heavy, to be honest. Like very thick, well written. Um, I like it. I really do. It, it seems like more more heavy than you'd expect. Really, I guess is the way to describe it. Like you really get a good. Uh, a good reach on just how powerful the legion has actually has become and you know how potent their invasion is you know because this is meant to be like a sanctuary right like it's the vault of the wardens the place where you know all demons are kept and and look at what they've done to the place now maev shadow song or i think that's her name right that's that's pretty embarrassing 
I should know that. Anyway, the the chick from Warcraft Three who hates Illidan, and then from BC, right? Um, yeah, she's in it, and you you kind of like I, I don't know. You aid her. My goddess, expecting neither personal gain nor glory. It's kind of weird when it's sped up, right? It's like sounds like a little girl. It sounds like Arya, but Can no. Anyway, you stand see, it's really awkward. <laughs> I shouldn't have sped it up. I just. It's too long. It's like 50 minutes worth of footage. I had to speed up. But anyway, so once again here, more Naga. Now down here, we're going to fight the first boss of the instance. Uh, he is definitely like, you can tell based on, you know, the conversation we're having here that, you know, that, that they're they're really pissed, right? Like the wardens themselves are definitely not happy about how this has all gone down. And this guy is, is it has some part of it. So uh, this boss, once again, uh, pretty much every boss is bugged in some way. This one's bugged in the fact that, he like he's up there. You see him up there. He uh, he he won't come down. Like the RP won't start. So we need to aggro him, which uh, I'm trying to do, but you can't actually get in range here. So uh, a priest is going to do it. But in case you are doing this on the alpha and you're watching this video, you're trying to figure out how to get him. You just you just do some damage to him while he's up there. He says some dumb shit like it's good to be a demon, and then he comes down, and then when he comes down. Uh, you're going to engage him, which is pretty standard. But yeah, no, the boss himself, uh, he really doesn't do much. Uh, well, I guess he's supposed to do. So this is back to what I kind of alluded to earlier. Like, they're supposed to have a bunch of mechanics, but I, I literally just, they're just trivial. And maybe it's because it's normal or maybe because it's DK, to be honest. But yeah, so he's both, he's meant to have, uh, he's got like these different forms. Kind of, It's kind of like Bale Rock from Firelands. He like empowers his weapons and then they all do something different. But, like, to be completely honest, I couldn't even figure out what they were doing. Like, one, you're meant to use your active mitigation or every time he hits you with it. If you don't have your active mitigation up, he gets a shield, makes him take less damage. And, yeah, you can't interrupt him. But, like, I don't even... The dude priest is like, you should interrupt him. And I'm like, what, what, what are we even interrupting? And then there's these things, like, his glaives are, are forming these cutters, which I intentionally stand in. As you see there, like I mean that that does that's not that does no damage like that for a mechanic like that that's you should die from that. Uh, but I guess it does kill the DPS, so it's not really surprising uh, that the tank survives. But yeah, and then now he's yeah so he he just switches back and he does these things. He he becomes like a vengeance demon hunter and then like a tank demon hunter and the, or a DPS one. And each of his his weapons and forms kind of do something different. So that actually looks like he's got both sets on now. But I mean I'm not gonna lie to you like. This boss is just, I don't know. Obviously, it's normal, and it's its alpha, so a lot could happen still. Uh, but all I really got out of this was how gorgeous this place is. Thank you for your help. Uh, your and then that chick's like, sounded like a rat. If you intend to venture deeper, it's pretty good. You will find far more terrifying things lurking in our vault. Okay, so far more terrifying things. Uh, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's going to allude to a few different types of demons, which, yeah, are really actually quite well done. Uh, the bosses seem really like they seem really innovative and in innovative as Arno as Arno would say innovative but yeah no they're very different than normal bosses like this dungeon actually has some really 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 good potential unfortunately it just you know it's normal on the alpha right it just didn't deliver for me uh, and trust me I'm not one of these people who say you know the game doesn't have a challenge I recognize that the challenging version of this is going to be quite challenging but I was kind of disappointed because all the other dungeons, like, I I felt like I had to learn how to do them. Uh, but this one, it was just like, I don't know. For for as many gimmicks as there were, they didn't seem to be too terrifying, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, you take on um, Gorfine's sister here. Uh, she's pissed because we killed her, her brother. And now they can't. Like, you know, it's like Cersei and Jamie, if you know, if you catch my drift there. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to just kill um, Miss, Miss Fiend. And we're going to walk right by her. I don't know what's actually to the right. I go there when I was in the dungeon, but I cut that out because everybody else goes the other way. Now there's like, um, we descend into the into the pit. So that was kind of like the the main area here. And then you go downstairs. And immediately when you get downstairs to the, the bottom level. Now this is where most of the Demon Hunter stuff took place. Uh, you're going to see this guy here. Okay, this is Instructor Resuva Face. And he's going to do that ability there, which is interruptible. Now, make sure you interrupt it, unlike us. Uh, I guess if you're a healer and you only have three spells to heal with or something like that, and you use one of them and it's not interrupted, then yeah, you GG. But his main mechanic here is he's going to go break open these prisons. Uh, when he's breaking them open, he's immune. 
But they all come out and do something. Now in the dungeon, in the dungeon urinal, uh, it says there's four different types of prisons. We only see two, despite my best efforts. Uh, this boss is really messed up. I think it's probably bugged as well. Um, but you're, you're going to see why we wipe here, and it's not because uh, it's not because the fight is difficult, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, these 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 aids or these mobs are aids is what I was trying to say, but that ruined the joke, didn't it? That mistake. But yeah, so they they fear and then they like they knock you back and they do and they silence you. It's just it's just terrible. So uh, if if this fight it does in, eventually have the four phases, then yeah, you're gonna need to really work hard on this one. But as he jumps all around there, you try to participate in that, but it's kind of difficult. Now here here's the Mogushan part, right? That I alluded to earlier. So that dog there, you see the dog, uh, he's he's putting the same thing just like the Mogushan trash. Now, I, I assume that's intentional, but either way, it stacks up very fast. Uh, maybe it doesn't stack up that fast, to be honest. Like, when we finally killed this thing, we really nuked the hell out of it. But this one seems a little bit more dangerous than it should be, to be honest. Like, because the big issue here is, as you see, when it stacks up to 10, it resets. That's the big issue. It's not like, I don't know. I guess there needs to be a middle ground, but... Anyway, he resets, you just do it again. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal on the alpha, but I assume that's not intentional. Like, it's either not going to make it reset or it's not going to stack up that fast. Like, I don't know. I didn't feel like that was fair. <laughs> it felt buggy, you know. Uh, but the boss, you know, once again, so you just interrupt his, his uh, force of death. I think that's what it's called. And um, then you... You try to anticipate where he's going to go, and you fail like I did there. So I dragged him all the way over there because I figured it would be better DPS uptime. But maybe he always goes to the furthest one. I can't say. And maybe that's why we only saw these two. But either way, you see we get the Magu one first. So I think we're just going to pop CDs here. I'm not really sure the DPS do, but I kind of try to take the lead there and put all my damage into that dog, skull him up, and then the other ones die pretty quick. I guess it kind of works pretty well if you can get this one first because you can front load your CDs. Uh, the boss doesn't actually need to die that quick. Like he, it seems percentage based. In fact, I'm I'm quite sure it is. Uh, but, and then he's just gonna, you know, he's gonna pick another one at some point. So I guess maybe on heroic and maybe CM, like it's gonna pick four, all four, or maybe it's meant to be random and we just got the same because we pulled this boss three three separate times. Uh, so and we it was always these two, but of course, the first two times it was the uh, demons first, well the old god guys first. And then uh, the Demagu second, which doesn't really make much sense. I'm not really sure how Mogu could actually be in here, but hey, I guess they are. Um, and then, yeah, once again, just this like, I mean, this is literally as painful as, like, imagine, this is like BC trash all over again. No mechanics, just fears and silences and knockbacks. It's literally everything from BC. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of having trouble keeping thread because i'm getting knocked right see that dude got fucking punted through the through the circle there so he's gone that, that guy's not coming back uh, and, and things get pretty dicey here but luckily i'm a blood death knight so i just heal for 100 percent of my health don't even have death pack anymore don't even need it man the the heirloom weapon ability is just absolutely ludicrous uh yeah but so that's that so the the guy just goes down if you can deal with the the portals that he opens or the the prisons, I guess they are. That's pretty much the whole fight. So now, this is actually a pretty long dungeon as well. If you if you take a look at it, like there's five bosses and then that mini boss up front. So the top half of the dungeon can can take you a good amount of time, as you see here. I mean, 13 minutes in already, and this is all sped up by about probably about 30 percent speed. So now the the door is open, right? So you had to kill that boss to open the two doors to the next bosses. Uh, the first one we're going to go to is Darumu. Uh, if you fought Darumu in Throne of Thunder, you realize that this is not Darumu. I'm just joking. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of demons. Uh, this guy's got some... Um, she's got some weapons from uh, Black Temple. I think they are. So, of course, you know, TBC influence there. Uh, but after you kill her, she drops them and you get... No, I'm just kidding. That'd be cool though, right? But yeah, so you just kill the trash. Uh, just use large damaging abilities to reduce the trash's health to zero. That's the strategy we used. Uh, and it seemed to work pretty well. And I can't say if that's going to work for everyone. Uh, but anyway, this is... Um, I mean, it's not Darumu. It looks just like him, though. So I guess I wouldn't be surprised if they use the same model. It's just a dungeon boss. And uh, it's it's kind of only ever been used from Darumu. And then that weird, like, area before Fell Lord. You guys notice that? Did you guys notice that? Before Fell Lord Zakun in uh, Hellfire Citadel, it was, like, Darumu behind a gate. I don't know. Anyway, so this boss is really interesting, actually. But once again, 
at least from my testing, it just really, the mechanics seem trivial. So there's those blue bolts now. As you see there, they're going to bounce off the wall. And, you know, based on where you take them is how it's going to happen. So they hit the boss there, and it deals damage to him. So watch that. I think it happens here again. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they're actually hitting him. But either way, they are meant to hit him. So you can hit him. And now he does this weird turtle shell looking thing. Uh, and you want to, you obviously want to hit him from the back, but he's going to do that beam. And that beam is going to get pointed at those mirrors. So as you see there, it's just like in Zelda. If you guys ever played, this is a very like common thing in Zelda. So everybody, you got to turn the mirrors. Yes, yeah, so you see, there you go. So you got to turn the mirrors so the beam strikes him in the back, which is really cool. Like you could just reflect it right back at him, but it, it wouldn't do anything. So you got to like position it around the room. Now, once again, like that mechanic just happened. Like I don't. I don't know. I mean, people knew what they were doing, but it's not like we had done this a thousand times. And it was like, all right, guys, I know exactly what to do. So I kind of feel like a little bit cheapened by that. Like, it's such a unique and interesting. And that, like, you know, his own mechanics hitting him here. Like, this is a really kind of unique idea for a boss. And it's a really cool idea, but it just doesn't have an impact. Like, it doesn't. There's, there's at no point. Or we, we don't even have to try is what I'm trying to say. So... Yeah, hopefully that, that is not going to be the case in, in, like, the harder difficulties. Uh, but anyway, you beat that guy, and then now you can... I guess this and the other um, the other boss here down here are, are both, like, you can both do them at the same time if you want to. So you could do some... Um, you could send two to one boss to be the other, I guess, if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend that. But, yeah, it's an option. Uh, so now, yeah, we go over here. And here's a Dreadlord. So this, a lot of people believe Gen Greymane is actually a Dreadlord. And this is Gen, uh, Gen Greymane if he was a Dreadlord. And you see, and he summons an ad there. It's a Worgen, uh, one of his Worgen friends. Uh, but yeah, this guy is just like another small little, just named Trash. Doesn't really have, um, now he's, he does, yeah, he's that Meteor, which I assumed it was like an Architraz, right? Where the Meteor spawns and you have to stack. I didn't learn anything from it happening the first time because I didn't notice it fast enough. So here when it spawns the second time, I go stand in it. Now let's see. Is, it, is this why I die? Oh, I fucking cut it out. <laughs> so, yeah, I die there. <laughs> I'm too smart for my own good. So I cut out me dying in, like, every case I could. But, yeah, I stand in that meteor and I do die from it. So I don't know if that's, you know, how that works. But, all right, so, yeah, this is the uh, fourth boss, as this guy just told us. Um, this is Ash Golem. It's, like, a really shitty, uh, trying to spell the name differently, but this is definitely his name, Ash Golem. Uh, just like Ash Ketchum, if you guys have ever played the Pokemon series, only he's a golem. And instead of catching Pokemon, he catches fire. So when you uh, engage this boss, he's going to be like frozen. He's going to turn into a rock, uh, like a molten rock now. The whole time, he's going to do a little bit of fire damage around the room. Uh, and everything he does can be soaked, all right? Now, those ads, they take more damage when the, um, the, the transition happens. But either way, all this stuff on the ground, like these fire things, they can all be soaked. Same with this line that he just spawned. You see this line? It's like a roaming patch of fire. Once again, all this this in the Darumo boss, this was all in the Demon Hunter area. When you come through here, like your pal, your demon, your demon pals, your demon hunter pals, they're like, yo, bro, we got this, bro. Why don't you go take take off, you know? Now you have to do it. You and your uh, four friends are likely four people you met on LFG. Uh, but, yeah, so now that he goes brittle, just kill these ads. Um, and then, once again, like I said, you can soak every bit of fire on this fight. So that, that fiery line, that weird, like, red, green, purple fire. Watch. I'll stand in it. You see? And then now you get a stack of uh, a dot. So every time somebody soaks it, they get one stack. So if I soaked all five of those in that line, I'd have five stacks, and it would do a lot of damage. So that's kind of like the temperance there. Uh, I'd imagine on CM, this is probably going to be a really difficult fight on CM because dots are usually historically really dangerous on short boss fights like this. Like they're gonna, It's probably going to do a ton. So luckily I have uh, Anti-Magic Shell. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Uh, it's not a bad ability. Oh, and then he spawned like a big fire at. I don't know if that's because we made a mistake or what, but if we didn't kill it quickly, it was going to get out of control and explode. Uh, but yeah, this, once again, just like the Darumo boss, seems really cool. A lot of really cool ideas, but they just seem trivial. Like, I don't, I, they don't even matter. The, the, the amount the fire damage does that you soak is next to nothing. And uh, it's just, anyway, that's, <laughs> I don't know why I keep bringing it up. But it's a really cool room, really cool idea for a boss, really cool. Like, it's a gimmick, really, but these two bosses are exceptional. Uh, now, you can also fall off, and you get kind of just lifted back up. I wanted to show you guys that because that was 
you know, it's important for you to understand exactly how the dungeon goes down. That's a joke. But anyway, yeah, let's keep moving. Now we're going to go downstairs. Now downstairs is where the dungeon really starts to unfold. It's really, 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 really cool, to be honest. Like, I can't say it enough. Yeah, honestly, all the Legion dungeons have been spectacular. Like, Halls of Valor was great. One of the first dungeons we tested. It was amazing. Dark Heart Thicket, you know, that it was really cool. It's just, they're great themes, and they're really cool. Now, you're going to get up here. There's going to be an elevator. It's going to take you downstairs. Watch this. Boom. Like magic, we're just on the elevator. That's the new ability DKs have. Uh, and then when you're down here, this is where, like, the coolest part, honestly, the coolest part of any dungeon that I've done so far takes place. Um, basically, you're in the pitch black. It's just like going down to Gravelord Nido. If you guys did uh, Gravelord Nido in Dark Souls 1, it's pretty similar. Well, no, nah, it's not fucking similar at all. But it's dark, and you ha you could have a light if you wanted. So there's like an item. This uh, The priest picked it up, right? So as you can tell, we can't figure out where the path is. But when the priest comes close to us, we can see the path, which is fucking awesome, right? So I said, yeah, look at that Pokemon reference. Use Flash. It's a joke, right? It's a good joke. But anyway, you can get the light from right there, and then it reveals these spiders, all right? So if you're really scared of spiders, I know some people are actually so scared of spiders that they couldn't do Beth to lack. How about that? Don't you think that's a little absurd? But anyway, you can reveal these spiders, as you see, and uh, you can only reveal them with the light. If not, they're going to kill you, I think. Like, Well, I guess they'll reveal themselves, but when they're revealed, they take extra damage and stuff. So you definitely want to have the person with the light stacked up here, and you just kill all the trash. Now, it's a really, I, I think it's a really neat idea. Uh, but it adds a lot of ambience to the room. Like, this is the best part of it because it's so dark that I wish I took a moment to actually. You'll see it at the end. It's so dark. You literally can't see where you're going. So they, they could have really fucked with you. They could have put, like, paths that, you know, you couldn't, you'd fall through and die. I mean, I guess that's still an option if you're not paying attention. But uh, so now I picked this one up really for no reason. But, yeah, you, there's a second one, I guess, in case you've, like, so you see the extra action button there, like in case I threw it, maybe I throw it uh, off the edge or something like that, I guess. There's a second one. But either way, it's really cool. Like, you wouldn't be able to see anything down here if it wasn't for these lights. So I love that. I love that concept. I think this this dungeon as a whole is really unique. And I'm really looking forward to testing it on harder difficulties. Or more so testing it, I feel like, you know, the classes aren't really set right now. Like, you'll see in these logs... Just things feel a little bit off, like the amount of damage people are doing and the amount of healing I'm doing. I'd imagine it'll be different when we're in heroics and challenge modes and stuff like that. But now this guy tells us he's got raid in eight minutes, which is good. I mean, why the fuck would you queue for a dungeon 20 minutes before your raid starts? But anyway, um, so now we're at the final boss, which is uh, Cordana Felsong, right? So the chick who supposedly was on our side during Legion helping um, Car... Wait, what? Helping... I'm blank. Anyway, yeah. So she's she's a bitch. Let's let's put it that way. She's got a really high pitched voice there, as you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, so you're meant to. Now this, I'm just gonna tell you, this boss does not work at all. So what you're about to see is it's probably a waste of your time even watching it. Uh, but you're meant to use the light to do things. There's meant to be like a bunch of phases and use the light to like first of all to like elucidate the platform so you can see where to fight the ads and then all these things. The only thing we got to see was phase one. Phase two and three don't actually work. I barely, I barely don't get knocked off there. That was pretty nuts. Uh, but the beam or the light itself does not actually work on the alpha, so you cannot do phase two. And um, so I'll show you how we end up beating the boss. We do end up beating the boss, but like I said, it's just a complete waste of time. You don't, you don't get anything from it. Like it's, you don't see the fight properly. So it's kind of dumb. Um, but here, let's check this out. So we went and we went back and got the light from earlier and then you just if you run up this path she'll like douse it so you can't use it but if you jump off it'll take you onto the platform so we like skip that event tile basically by jumping off and it takes us up here so now the dude's got the light so we can like do the fight but it's, it's just it's just so bugged like it's unbelievable uh, so i get the light here even though i don't need it uh, and then yeah we're gonna pull the boss but yeah so the, the only other mechanic in here is there's like a chain uh, it roots you in, in a very small area, and if you move from that area, you, you're fucked. You take so much damage, it's unbelievable. Uh, and then there's this mechanic here that she, like, throws her glaive around and it bounces around. If it hits a player, it does a bunch of splash damage. So you see it's going to hit, like, three players. It does a ton of damage. Uh, so you definitely, you just back away from her. Like, you, you back away from her and let her, uh, let her get hit by it. Well, she catches it, right? It doesn't hit her, but... 
that's how you avoid that splash damage. And then as you see there, I'm stuck in those that little small circle. And then that like green lightning thing, and those are like if you look carefully, they're actually circles. So if you stood in one of those, like a trap would reveal itself. Uh, and then here's that face two bit, but like it just doesn't actually do anything. It just she doesn't transition properly, stays in phase one. Most of, I think it's because we have the light. Like you're meant to use the light to elucidate the platform, kill the ads, and then find her, and then she comes in for another phase or two. Uh, but that just doesn't happen here. So that's that's the whole fight as it is for Alpha. Very bugged. Just like um, the Xavius fight from Dark Heart Thicket. I mean, the, the, the fight, the end fights just don't seem to work properly right now. But that's fine. I mean, honestly, I, I pan this dungeon a lot. But this is my favorite dungeon so far. It's so innovative. Like, it's, it's so different. So many new types of mechanics. Uh, original, you know, boss type mechanics. Uh, they're really interesting. And I'm really looking forward to it on a harder difficulty. But... Yeah, it's just weird. Like, I don't know. I guess it's the progression I have as a player. But, like, I just, I'm really surprised anybody, like, I'm surprised these are even in the game. It's so unbelievably easy. I just can't imagine how anybody would ever wipe to these, these bosses. Like, when they work properly, obviously. Um, but I guess that's why it's normal, you know? I have this argument with people all the time. They're like, the game's so easy. It's like, well, it's not. But it's just normal difficulty, which is what you're doing. But anyway topic for another day so yeah we do kill cordana uh, which i guess puts her story to rest not 100 percent sure what's going to happen with her but uh, my f comes out and it's like champions of azeroth or some shit you know so i don't even know but yeah she does some rp uh, but yeah that's going to be that for me man so if you guys have any questions about the dungeon uh, i wouldn't even advise asking them because i'm not going to answer them to be honest but uh, i might i mean you could you could and just see what happens i guess it's probably probably worth it right The traitor is defeated. Thank you. We owe you a great debt. I will make my way to the surface, but you should inform the other wardens of what you have accomplished today. May the night shroud you in shadow, and the moon illuminate your foes. <laughs> 